I'm Alien Attenborough, and welcome to Mars. I'm going to be giving you an insight into the unknown creatures of Mars's wild forests and desert plains. Follow me to discover the Red Planet's best kept secrets. Leah Half loves to fly around, as she is a deadly predator in the air. She is almost the last of her kind. Look at the way she lands. She is a very graceful and elegant animal and a distant relative of the Earth Swan. Ah, see what I said? She has found a worm. Leah Half has a very unusual way of eating. The only way it can be described is like eating spaghetti. Hold tight, what have we got here? Are we about to witness the first sighting of this shy and normally nocturnal creature, the Sidothel? This blind creature has the ability of using laughter to kill other creatures by tickling them with its large bushy tail. This tail would have anyone in fits of laughter, but it's all too much for the Learhalf to cope with. The Sidothel is the only creature known to be able to break open the Learhalf's defense position. Poor Learhalf. Sidothel didn't mean to kill him. The mix of Sidothel's mating dance and Learhalf's ticklish nature was a deadly mix. Here is a wild Galopoli, also known by its Latin name Fogu Gu. The Galopoli has a very unusual way of feeding. Unlike other plant-dwelling insects, the Galopoli doesn't exactly eat its prey. Here you see the incredible sight of how the Galopoli injects its poison into another creature and then eats the spots from its back, peeling them like a banana. I'm now going to pick up the Galopoli as his bite is only poisonous to insects. And here we have a family of Philopolis around an egg which is hatching. This is a big event. It only happens every 10 years. Philopolis are very friendly, but no one has ever seen one hatch. Can you believe we are witnessing this rare and wonderful sight? Now, Babies are always very friendly, even to strangers, so it won't mind if I pick him up. Ow! Ah, bit me! Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> this is a dust hopper, also known as Pulvis hoppitis. It is a nocturnal creature. This dust hopper has two young cubs, which follow its mother when she calls out for them with its strange bellow. This creature has a light but strong shell and protruding sharp tusks, which it uses to hunt with at night. It's a reptilian, and its habitat is the rocky barrens of Mars. Their diet consists of Martian worms and small mammals. The dust hopper also uses its tail to catch its prey. When food is scarce, it grinds its tusks against rocks to extract nutrients. This is a very rare sight, the tribulus drone, or to name it correctly, a trimandulanguicetone. It is incredibly uncommon to see one, as this is believed to be the last of its species. Despite being able to live for thousands of years, these creatures are sadly endangered due to their choosing of one spot in which they will sit for the rest of their lives. These sites are often far away from other tribulus drones, so they never have a chance to mate. Its reproductive methods are unknown because of the infrequency of their occurrence. There is speculation that these animals may hold the key to how life first evolved here, and consequently on Earth. This would be a huge break. This creature is the iron anemone. It gets its name from the color of its flesh, and it also feeds on iron from the rock it lives on. It can also feed on pieces of Martian plankton floating past in the air. We are now witnessing an iron anemone being attacked by an adult philopoly. Look at the way the anemone defends itself. The anemone is a smelly prey as the philopoly has found out to its own power. Death by toxic arsenic gas which the anemone excretes in its face. Here we have a Gemini Satura, a creature with two heads and two minds. This animal is in constant conflict with itself and can spend days of its life walking in circles. 
Here we see a classic case of how these two heads fight on the field. We now approach the hippo munchbug, a solitary creature guarding its eggs from the dust. It lays its eggs inside hollow craters and sits on them until they hatch. They eat mainly small rodents such as rats and mice. Hippo munch bugs also like fudge. Actually, I think I have some here. <coughs> I think he liked that. I've documented many species, but none as amazing as these wonderful creatures. I hope you've enjoyed them. I'm now off to see the lunar seals on Neptune.